this evening. Now, Idea Forge's IPO will open for subscription on June 26th and will close on the 29th of June. The IPO will include a fresh issuance of shares worth 240 crore rupees. The startup, which designs and manufactures drones, is expected to raise around 567 crore rupees. Ankit Mehta, the CEO of the startup, told Yashjen that out of the capital raise, 240 crore rupees is primary issue. CFO Vipul Joshi says that 40 crores will be used for product development and 50 crores towards debt repayment. Here's a slice of that conversation. So I think the uh, total size of the IPO would be close to about 570 crores, of which uh, 240 crores is uh, primary uh, portion of the IPO where we'll be raising money for the company. Uh, we've already done a 60 crores uh, pre-IPO round, which was recently announced as well. Okay. Uh, as far as the pre-IPO round is concerned, uh, who are the buyers, if you could uh, help us through that? Yeah, so we have... Uh, 361 is one of the buyers, Tata AIG, hmm. and we have uh, Think Investments, and uh, we also have Motilal Oswal MF. When it comes to fresh issue, and both of you can come in on this one, uh, what is the sort of usage that you see for the money that would be coming into the company? So, uh, right now the distribution of the proceeds is uh, 40 crores in uh, product development, hmm. 50 crores of uh, repayment of debt, and 135 crores in working capital. Okay, so about 50 crores of repayment of debt. What is the debt at this point of time uh, on the books of the company? And I think in the last one year, it's sort of taken a jump. Uh, if you could help us understand what was the reason for that and with the repayment, where does the debt come down to again? So right now our uh, utilization has been around 85 crores. Uh, we are looking to repay about 50 crores from this. And uh, we're hoping that uh, the debt would stay hovering around 25 to 30 crores going ahead. Okay. And where does that keep you on the debt to equity side? So right now it's also a point to a 27. Okay. And uh, with the repayment, obviously, we'll come down significantly. Okay. Uh, as far as uh, the IPO and the financials of the company are concerned, I mean, if you look at the parameters on the revenue, EBITDA on the margin side, uh, it's been a little inconsistent. Uh, if you look at the revenue itself, 21, it was 60 crore. Uh, it jumped to 160 crore and now it's at about 186 crore. Uh, what was so special about uh, 22 as a year for the company where the financials uh, did sort of see that big jump? And on the revenue side, EBITDA and EBITDA margin, where do you see uh, the numbers hovering around on a consistent basis for so the company? From a revenue boost perspective, uh, the, the company was participating in large programs uh, of government. Uh, government's fast track program because of the change in the geopolitical situation uh, came into foray and we were the first few uh, winners of those programs and uh, we also supplied these contracts in FI22 as well as FI23. Uh, our margins have hovered between the range of 70% to about 65% gross margin uh, historically. Mm. Uh, we are hoping that if our growth journey uh, and our expansion in product development to shift the overall uh, capabilities of our product and the uh, expansion in the market continues, then our gross margins and EBITDA margins would uh, stay in the healthier range that they are today. As far as the revenue itself is concerned, out of the revenue share itself, what's the share of defense and uh, what's the share as far as the civil application is concerned? So FI22 numbers, we've been about 80 to 20 split. Uh, okay. In FI23, the split is still about 78. 18 in favor of defense and 20. 20 okay. civil. And uh, right now, it's a shift to 75 to 78% difference and uh, remaining being civil. Do you see a meaningful change coming in the share in, in, let's say, the next three to five years? There will be a certain shift. Uh, you know, we, ex we are doing considerable uh, efforts behind uh, increasing the overall size of the civil market itself, hmm. uh, while defense will still continue to hold uh, the large part of it. Yes. Now, let me speak to you about the order book that you have right now. What's the size of current order book? And uh, out of that size, how much is civil right now uh, in, the, in terms of the order book? And what is uh, defense? And what kind of growth do you expect as far as the order book itself is concerned, looking at the growth that you've seen in the last three, five years? So uh, FI23 ending number is 192 crores of order book. Okay. Uh, while we do not bifurcate the order book in civil and defense uh, at this juncture, uh, we, as Ankit was pointing out, that the market itself is changing and uh, the overall scope, we continue to participate in large programs. And uh, there is uh, large possibilities of us closing on 
orders uh, on, on these programs uh, going ahead as well. Hmm. So what kind of growth and uh, what is the visibility for the current order book? So as per one latest report, there are large programs that are already in the fast track procurement that are happening from the government side. Uh, government has uh, outlaid uh, requirements of roughly about 88 crores worth of procurement, $18 million, $18 million dollars, uh, yeah. worth of procurement. And those programs are taking shape as we progress this year. Some of them are uh, for the next years. And we are continuing to participate in those programs. Plus, uh, there are uh, large scale mapping, mapping programs that are there in the market today, uh, which also through our service providers or resellers, uh, uh, our products are getting deployed as well. Hmm. One thing that I want to understand post IPO, what will be the eventual shareholding as far as the promoters are concerned and other shareholders are concerned? Promoters and promoter group right now hold hmm. about 35% in the company. And right. based on the dilution on primary, it was going to remain above 30%. Okay. Okay. So there is no sort of selling which is expected, uh, you know, to comply with the minimum public shareholding even after listing for the first three years. Uh, it's not expected. Okay. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Pleasure talking to you, and we'll see you as the issue opens. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank, you so much Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Continue.